Hello guys, welcome back to Shinda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a flower keychains and flower hair ties, which is we call them do flowers. Okay, now let's get started. First thing first, we are going to make these big petals. To begin, make a magic circle or magic ring. And next, we are going to make single crochet into the circle. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all two loops. Keep repeating this until you got 5 stitches of single crochet, then I will meet you back again. After you got 5 stitches of single crochet, then pull the short string tight to close the circle. And next, we are going to make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. To make slip stitch, continue insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. And next, chain 5. For chain 5, we don't count as a stitch. After you got 5 chains, next, we are going to make treble crochet 7 together into the same loop with chain 5. To make treble or triple crochet, yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops, and yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. And now you have 2 loops on your hook, and then we are going to repeat the same thing into the same loop until you got 7 stitches of treble crochet, then I will meet you back again. And now you must have 7 stitches of turbo crochet in the same loop. And with 8 loops on your hook. And next, yarn over, pull through the first loop. And then yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. Keep repeating this until you got 1 loops on your hook, then I will meet you back again. And after you have 1 loop, and this is how we crochet treble crochet 7 together. Next, skip the first loop. And we are going to make single crochet into the next loop, which is between the treble crochet stitch. Keep making single crochet into the next two loops. And now you got 3 stitches of single crochet. Next, chain 2. After you got 2 chain, then make single crochet into the same loop with this single crochet stitch. 
and now you must have two single crochet in the same loop and next make single crochet into the next two loops and after you got two single crochet then we are going to skip this last loop and next continue make five chains And after you got 5 chains, then we are going to make slip stitch into the same loop with treble crochet stitch. And after you have made a slip stitch, and this is what the first pair looks like. And next, we are going to skip one stitch that near the first pair. And make slip stitch into the next stitch. Then we are going to repeat the same thing like the first pair until you got three pairs, and I will meet you back again. And after you got 3 pearls, next turn your work and make slip stitch into the back part of the pearls. Then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now the outside petals of the flower is done. Next, we are going to make the center petals. 
to begin make a magic circle. And then make five single crochet into the circle. After you got five stitches of single crochet, then pull the short string tight to close the circle. Then make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. And after you have made a slip stitch, next, chain 1, and we are going to make the bulk of shade 5 together. To make the bulk of shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the same loop with chain 1, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 3 loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through 2 loops. And now you have 2 loops on your hook, then we are going to repeat the same thing into the same loop until you got 5 stitches of the bulk of shade, then we will need to back again. And now you must have 5 stitches of the bulk of shade in the same loop, with 6 loops on the hook. Then yarn over pull through the first loop. And next, yarn over pull through 2 loops. And yarn over pull through 2 loops again. Keep repeating this until you got 1 loop on the hook. And after you got one loop on the hook, then skip this first loop and make single crochet into the next two loops. After you got two single crochet, then chain two and make single crochet into the next two loops. Next, chain 1 and make slip stitch into the same loop with the bulk crochet stitch. And after you have made a slip stitch, and this is what the first parallel looks like. Next, we are going to skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next stitch. Then we are going to repeat the same thing like the first parallel until you got 3 parallels, then I will meet you back again. And after you got 3 parallels, then turn your work and make slip stitch into the back part. Mm -hmm. 
chain one and leave a long tail of yarn then cut it off. And next, we are going to flip this flower into the right side of the stitch. As you can see, you have to flip all the petals. And the petals should look just like this. Then pull the long tail of yarn into the bottom part of the petals. And for the short tail of yarn, we used to weave in all these three petals together. You just insert the hook into the front loop only of the middle part of the flower, which is the chain to stitch. Then repeat the same thing into the next next petals. And then pull this short tail of yarn into the bottom of the petals. And we are going to pull it a little bit to close these three petals together, as you can see. And next, we are going to attach these small petals into the big petals. Please weave in all the short tails of yarn into the petals and leave a long tail of yarn. And next, we are going to attach the flower with the hair tie To begin, you just insert the hook into any loop And then pull the yarn through the loop And next, chain 2 and after you got two chains, then continue place this hair tie through the chain two stitch. And next, we are going to continue make slip stitch into the back part of the flower. You just insert the hook into any loops. For the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in.
and now the flower hair tie is done. Next, I'm gonna show you how to crochet the leaves and the string for the keychain. To begin, make a slip knot. And make 29 chains. After you got 29 chains, next, follow one, skip one chain, and make slip stitch into the next chain. And after you have made a slip stitch, then make single crochet into the next two chains. And after you got two single crochet, then make half double crochet into the next two chains. To make half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Keep repeating this into the next chain. And after you got 2 half double crochet, then make a double crochet into the next 3 chains. And after you got 3 double crochet, then make half double crochet into the next 2 chains. And after you have made 2 half double crochet, then we are going to make single crochet into the next 8 chains. Then I will meet you back again. And after you got 8 stitches of single crochet, next, we are going to make half double crochet into the next 2 chains. And then make 3 double crochet. And after you got 3 double crochet, and then make 2 half double crochet. And after you got 2 half double crochet, then make 2 single crochet. And after you have made 2 single crochet and now you must have one last chain, then we are going to make slip stitch into this last chain. And this is what the half side of the leaves looks like. And next, we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side of the leaves by repeat row 1. To begin, you just continue make slip stitch into the same stitch that you made slip stitch in the previous row. And then make 2 single crochet into the same stitch that you have made 2 single crochet in the previous row. So you just keep repeating the same thing like row 1 until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again.
and after you reach the end of the row, then pull the yarn and cut it off. For the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in into the back side of the leaves. And this is what the leaves looks like. And next, you just fold the leaf like this. And we are going to sew the leaf into the flower. And now we are done attach the leaf into the flower. And next, attach the yarn into the back part of the flower. You just insert the hook into the loop of the leaf and continue insert the hook into the loop of the flower. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Then continue make 35 chains. And after you got 35 chains, then we are going to make slip stitch into the back part of the flower again. Make another slip stitch. Then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. For the remaining yarn, please weave in into the flower. And now for the flower hair ties and keychains are done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.